Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be doing part two to my question and answer video. I just want to say thank you to everybody that has looked at my other video. Um, I'm getting a lot of feedback. I'm going to go ahead and answer you guys' questions. Um, someone asked, how is your pregnancy going along? I've already had my baby. He's about to be three months. Um, would you rather choose pink or red lipstick? What's your favorite lipstick? Um, red lipstick, hands down. I feel like red lipstick is like grown woman type. And pink is, it's, pink is grown woman too. But like I'm wearing like a pinkish purple right now. But I mean, if I only had to choose pink or red, I would probably just choose red. Um, my favorite lipsticks will have to be from Milani. I'm really like coming to love Milani a whole lot. So yeah. Um, how long have you been married and do you plan on having more children? If so, how soon will you start trying? <laughs> this is so funny because a lot of people ask me this. Um, so I've been married since December and she asked, do you plan on having more kids? Yes, we do. How soon will you start trying? Um, probably when he turns one. I guess that's the plan. Um, okay. How long have you been making YouTube videos and what would you say are the pros and cons about it, especially now since you have a son? Um, I've been making videos since I think 2011, 2012. And the pros is... I'm not going to lie to y'all, y'all do get paid for it. I mean, I'm not like one of the top paid, but I do get a little chunk of change just here and there, not really every month, but yeah, anyway. So that's a pro. Um, also, I just love doing it. I mean, it's really fun. I love playing in makeup. I love hair. So it gives me time to just express myself and just talk to you guys and develop more friendships and, you know, things like that. There's a lot of joy to YouTube. Um, it's not just the business. Um, the cons would be it takes a long time to edit. I hate editing. I hate editing. <laughs> um, filming is fine, but like this video will probably be like, I don't know, maybe almost close to 20 minutes. And I'll have to edit it down to a good amount of time for me to upload it to YouTube. And it's just a lot sometimes, especially um, having my son, like you said, you know, he needs my attention. But most of the time what I'll do is I breastfeed so I can lay him down or lay him on his pillow and breastfeed him and I can edit my videos or do it when he's sleeping. That's when I do uh, everything most of the time anyway. See, what would be a real spa trait for you right now after becoming a mother? A massage. Like, I still haven't got one. I got my facial done, but I have not got my massage. That needs to happen ASAP. My son is about to be three months, like I said. I need to be getting that massage. Like, a sap because your body really aches after um hey after you have a baby okay next question is do you care what gender you have next go around um i want a girl but i mean i'll take whatever blessing i get if it's a boy i'll be fine with a boy but i really want a girl um a girl and a boy would be my idea but my husband wants more kids so we'll probably have a girl sometime down the line i don't know we'll see Next question is, did you work the whole time you were pregnant with your son? Um, no, I did not work the whole time I was pregnant. Um, you guys know I have an incompetent cervix, and the person who has this got her tack done, so congratulations on that, girl. Um, that's a good accomplishment. Um, I know you're really excited to get pregnant. But anyway, so um, with the tack, I'm not sure, but with my cerclage, I got my cerclage January 12th, um, and I worked three days a week after no I took three weeks off and then after I took the three weeks off I went back to work in like end of February kind of and I worked like two or three days a week um, and then the next month I slowed it down again because you know the baby gets bigger and heavier so more pressure and more pressure on your cervix so I started only working one day a week um, yeah so and then I think in in May, was it April, May? At the end of April, I took leave. Like, I only worked one day a month. Um, so, yeah, I did that up until, I want to say the end of June. And then I didn't work at all, and I had my baby in July. So, I worked not really at all. I was on bed rest most of the time. Um, but that's just 
how I did it, you can work, but for me, I felt more comfortable if I would just have, um, just stayed on bed rest and not been working, because I do work at a job where you have to be on your feet constantly. The next question is, do you feel like being a parent pushes people to become better versions of themselves at a faster rate than if they didn't have children? Um, honestly, I can say kind of, kind of. Um, it depends on the person. If the person is a real go-getter and they know they have a responsibility and they got to take care of someone else and somebody else depends on them, then yes, they will go out and do what they do what they have to do. Um, as for me, people were like, you're back to work already? Like, when I had my son, I went back to work when he was five months. And I know that's not like, not five months, five weeks. I know that's not recommended um, because I'm breastfeeding, but we make it work. Um, I knew I had things I had to take care of, and regardless if I was hurting or whatever, I was like, I need to be at work. So, like I said, if you know you have to do something to take care of your children and your household, you'll do what you have to do. Um, that is it for my second q and A. I see that you guys really enjoy this video, this type of video. So, if you have any more questions, just leave them down below. I will be happy to answer them. Any questions you may have for me. Um... But yeah, I thought I had more questions to answer, but I guess I didn't. So there won't be a part three unless you guys want to ask me any more questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.